Hello, this is Ari Vagabon Jerry, and today I'm in Del Rio, Texas. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you some various things to see and do if you're driving through Del Rio and have a day or two to look around. I'm going to show you some of the things that I think you would want to do first. And first is the Whitehead Memorial Museum. Now, when I was here a few years ago, I did a full video just of this museum, and it is quite an impressive, fascinating museum. So, I'm going to show you just a little bit around the museum, and then I want to show you some other things around town that I think you'll be interested in taking a look at if you happen to be here. It is an outdoor museum with a lot of small buildings and here is a further description of Judge Roy Bean and you might find this interesting it's right outside the entrance to the museum I'm just gonna briefly go through the museum I'm gonna put a link below to the full video that I made when I was here a few years ago if you want to see a lot more of it I'd like an ice cold beer from the Jersey Lily. But kind of looks like they've let everything get warm in here. It has a lot of really old farm equipment here. And a windmill that is hard at work pumping water into that big tank and this is nice you can go to the restroom with a friend <laughs> del rio does have an extension canal system to get a more full use of the water from the san Felipe springs before it all dumps out into the rio grande there's a livery stable and next to that is a railroad station and there's a caboose looks like people are all packed up with no place to go they do weddings here they have a chapel and there is the bar a huge dance floor here and over here is the stage for a band the fountain could use some improvement. <laughs> they still have their Halloween decorations up. That is the museum building. I don't think there's much in there to see. It's pretty much just a gift shop. Here's some old tables. This is the second floor of the museum. That must be the lady of the house. Let's see what their place looks like. Piano. Another lady of the house. Bed is not very big. And this is an armoire. This tells about the bed. And they have an old record player. This must be the oldest daughter. And she's got six sisters here. <laughs> so rather than showing you everything here, I'm going to take off and go to the city park. This is Del Rio City Park, which is called Moore Park. It's a very nice place they have a stream here that comes from a springs just on the other side of the bridge here about a half mile up past the bridge it's called San Felipe Springs so that's where all this water is coming from and there's a railroad bridge here which is very active I've been here when trains were coming through. 
We have a very nice color mural here. I can't quite tell what it means. It's hard to read even if you know Spanish. <laughs> but got some good artists here in town. That is Highway 90. That goes all the way to Jacksonville, Florida. And here's a footbridge to go across. The water is too shallow to go swimming, but you can get in it to go in and cool off. In fact, there are steps that go right down to it there, right next to this little about one and a half, two foot high waterfall. <laughs> the spring split into two different streams. This is the second one. It has a dam there. Now on the other side of the highway is a golf course right where the springs are. Right here. And I'm pretty sure this is where the springs start. But they don't let people get in it because that is their city water supply. You can climb down to it here, but I think that would get you in a lot of trouble if you get caught. Right next to the park is a Sonic. And I'm guessing that this Sonic has some of the best scenery of any Sonic in the country. <laughs> in fact, you can get your burgers and sit at picnic tables right here and look out at the San Felipe Springs Creek. And Moore Park is also where they have their public swimming pool. It's closed for the season now. So this is all I can see through the fence. And next to the park is the Lions Club which has some baseball fields over here. There's the Lions Club building and here's the San Felipe Creek. There's the swimming pool and further down here you can see the Highway 90 bridge over there. So it's a big complex here nice scenery especially around the creek and I don't know why they painted the banks over there a deep blue huh. this is a very nice park they have a skate park and a children's playground here. Here's a basketball court and the creek here. It gets a lot wider and deeper but I still don't know if it's a good place to go actually swimming or not because the bottom looks like it is just covered with weed. This is a little further downstream. More nice scenery. Here's one of the local residents. <laughs> so now there are two RV related places that I want to show you in Del Rio. Now I am a big fan of overnight parking at Walmarts. I've 
overnight parked at hundreds of Walmarts across the country. And of all the Walmarts, this one in Del Rio is my favorite for a few reasons. For one thing, I like parking off to the side of the building rather than in front with all these cars. You can park out front here, but let me show you what they have on the side of the building there. They have eight really long drawn out parking stalls, which I don't recall seeing at any other Walmart anywhere. And also on top of that, at the front of each one of these eight stalls, it says RV Park Only. They have painted on the pavement. And that is about the best imitation you're going to get from any Walmart. I've been here a few times when I'm going across West Texas. And there's always at least one 18-wheeler truck parked here. I guess this truck is somehow self-identifying as an RV. <laughs> now, I can't complain about the Walmart trucks. But this one, Landstar, is an independent trucker. Which doesn't bother me as long as they don't keep their diesel engines running all night long. Now, if you want to feel safer with your slides out, I think you'd want to park somewhere in the front lot. Another nice thing about this Walmart is that right next door is one of the best barbecue places in Texas. And then within a couple blocks are several more nice restaurants. But now I'm going to go show you where I stay in Del Rio when I want to get hookups. Mainly for air conditioning use. <laughs> and the last thing I want to show you is the Del Rio Elks Lodge. And what I like about the Elks Lodge here is that they have an RV park. They have two 50 amp boxes with also a 20 amp. And then on the other side of my RV, they have, I think it's 14 more RV spaces. And each one has a 30 amp power box. It's 30 amp only in there. And everybody has a water faucet and a barbecue grill. And I don't know why I'm the only one here. <laughs> because they only charge $15 a day. It's hard to beat that deal. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed my video of things to see around Del Rio. Good day folks.